Dana Tyler is off tonight. We begin with that breaking news on Long Island. The brush fire burning near Copaig started with a house fire that quickly spread to three other homes. And before it was over, the smoke could be seen for miles. And this is a live look from Chopper 2 right now. You can see the fire has been contained, but a burned out shell of that home is all that remains. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan live at the scene with more. Jennifer. Good evening. Swift action of more than 15 firefighters from 15 different departments in Nassau and Suffolk kept this blaze from getting any worse. They descended here on the explosive scene on East Santa Barbara Road and Venetian Promenade in Cope. Three homes at the end of this street appear damaged or destroyed. Two others can be salvaged. This on a day we were all warned about the dangers of dry, dusty, windy conditions. Witnesses describe how flames on wires jumped from backyards towards the canal and across Strong Creek to tiny Indian Island County Park, where brush burned intensely for hours due to the tall grass and reeds. Black thick smoke eventually turned white. A few firefighters suffered smoke inhalation, but homeowners made it out safely, worried about their pets. We spoke to them just moments ago. We feel bad for the neighbors that, that you know, have this problem. We're a block over. We came walking over to see if we can help anybody. Your house may be affected. Yeah, I got a call at work from uh, somebody who, lived, who used to live nearby, and they said that uh, my house was burned to the ground. And, uh, you know, I left work and worried about my cats. I live alone, luckily. Well, you're able to stand here and speak to me right now. Yeah, I'm trying to get down there. Oh, my gosh. Through please go and, and please let us know if there's anything we can do to help. I will. A uh, brave young man, we feel for him a brush fire that quickly became one of the worst in recent memory. Wonderful action by first responders contained this so that homeowners here who suffered so so horribly in Sandy were not victimized anymore. Again, five houses damaged or destroyed. We're live in Copake tonight. Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jennifer, thank you.